Hey, how you're doing? JP Cervantes here with a public service announcement involving human trafficking. So I know a lot of us see posts on Facebook and we're quickly to share them, even if we don't know who posted them, right? Uh, you see somebody who posts a lost puppy, boom, we're going to share it. A lost child, we're going to share it. Somebody's missing, we're going to share it. The problem is you don't know who posted that. You don't even know if the person that you know who reposted it know the person who originally posted that. So human traffickers are using this technique where they post a flyer saying that this person is missing. Of course, it goes viral. And uh, by the time that the real person finds out that there's a flyer about them out there, it's too late because people have given them tips, locations, sightings, and where this person is at. A lot of those they're doing for people who escape human trafficking, right? They escape, now they're free, but they are what human traffickers consider high earners. So they want them back. They're considered products in their mind. They want them back. They want the high earning product back. So they put these flyers out. They put it all over social media and everybody just immediately starts sharing them and giving them tips, sightings and information. Yeah, they go to school with my daughter. Oh my God, I saw them at the grocery store yesterday. I know where they live. They live in my neighborhood. Uh, I saw I saw her walking around the street yesterday, blah, 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 blah. Well, you just put that person at risk because you don't know who posted that. So this is my advice to you if you're that kind of person. First, stop. Do not repost everything you see on social media. Do your due diligence, okay? The first thing you do is look at the flyer. Make sure there's police contact information, not just a random person contact information, a police or law enforcement contact information, and there's a case number attached to the flyer, okay? When you make any calls or give any tips, do it to law enforcement. Don't give it to any random person in the flyer. Also, if you want to go a little bit further, like I do, I call the police department and confirm that that's an actual case number and this is an actual uh, flyer that law enforcement is looking for this person. Because if not, you're putting people at risk. You don't know if this person is running for an abusive relationship. You don't know if it's running away from something and they don't want to be found. And you just help these people find that person. We know firsthand of one survivor of human trafficking who was taken back by their captors because of a flyer like that. They got all the information they needed and they took that person back. Uh, and at this point, they're gonna do better at hiding that person. So do your due diligence just because it, it looks pretty, just because it's sad. I, I know we wanna help, I understand that. But just because it's a sad story doesn't mean that it's real and doesn't mean you have to repost it right away. Just because your friend reposted it doesn't mean that your friend knows the person who originally posted. So unless you personally know the person who posted it and you know that to be a fact, that, that it's real, then go ahead and repost. But otherwise, do your due diligence. Do not, do not put people in danger just because you want to help. I understand you're trying to help, but you might be putting people in danger. So do your due diligence. Make sure contact, uh, law enforcement information is on that flyer. Contact law enforcement and don't contact a random person on the flyer. Just your uh, public service announcement for anti-human trafficking operations. See you later.